Hello everyone, I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about different system of track electrification. In previous lecture, we have seen DC system of track electrification. In this video lecture, we will see about AC system as well as composite system of track electrification and certain advantage and disadvantage. We start with the AC system. We know that in AC system we have three different category. Single phase AC system with low frequency, single phase AC system with high frequency and three phase with low frequency. We start with single phase low frequency. The electric motor for the motive power, we use single phase AC series motor. And the supply, that is a single phase high voltage, that is in the range between 15 kV to 25 kV. For the overhead distribution, we use a traction substation to feed the distribution network. The distribution at the overhead that is with the low frequency that is in the range of 25 Hz or 16.66 Hz. Voltage at the locomotive through the step down transformer voltage is step down to match with the AC series motor. We use a frequency converter substation to convert power frequency to low frequency and the rail is used as a return conductor. Because of high voltage in the distribution power losses are reduced because current in the conductor is comparatively less and the low frequency reduces impedance drop and the distance between substation can be increased. Normally in case of AC system 50 to 80 kilometers passing between two substation is very normal. Now let us see the block diagram for the general arrangement for the AC system with low frequency. High voltage power at the 50 Hz we are getting from the national grid. Then we have frequency converting substation. From the 50 Hz we are reducing the frequency to 25 Hz or 16 0.66 Hz for the distribution overhead cable and then at the locomotive we use step down transformer to match the voltage for the AC series motor. High voltage low frequency supply we are feeding to the locomotive. The application of a single phase AC system low frequency that is uh, suitable for suburban and mainline services. Now same way we have another classification in AC system that is single phase high frequency. In certain case for example coal mines where sparking from the overhead conductor to the pantograph must be avoided. In that condition we use a single phase high frequency system. Locomotive draws power from the two overhead cables by means of electromagnetic induction process. 
so here we have contactless current conduction and we use the principle that is electromagnetic induction high frequency generator feed power to the overhead cables and the frequency is as high as 2.5 to 3 kilohertz this is general arrangement for the single phase high frequency ac system we have a high frequency generator and we have two overhead cables that generator generates high frequency power and feed to the two overhead cables then we have a locomotive and we have energy receiver the winding of the energy receiver receive the power by the way of electromagnetic induction from the overhead cable winding of energy receiver is kept 40 mm away from the overhead cables in a winding of an energy receiver alternating current is induced and induced ac voltage is then rectified at the locomotive and fed to the dc traction motor it is safe for mines with explosive case because it is a contactless conduction of the current and that is why the sparking can be avoided and the last system in case of ac system it is a three phase low frequency system we use a three phase induction motor to get the required motive power three phase induction motor is a simple and robust construction high efficiency and regenerative regeneration is very easily possible when we use a three phase induction motor and the supply we use because it is a three phase ac system we use two overhead cables and the rail we use as a third conductor operative voltage that is normally in the range of 3.3 kV to 3.6 kV and the frequency normal that is 16.66 hertz but we have certain disadvantage in case of a three phase low frequency ac system low starting torque and high starting current because we use a three phase induction motor so starting torque is less compared to dc traction motors and it take very high starting current catenary system become more complicated at crossings and junctions supply frequency because it use a reduced frequency so we require a frequency converter substation and ultimately it increase the overall cost we have seen dc system for track electrification as well as we have seen ac system for track electrification but now both the system have certain advantage as well as certain disadvantage none of the system is having a all the advantages or all the good points so now we use a composite system that is a combination of any of the two system we have discussed earlier and we take all the good points or all the advantage of the two system composite system we use either single phase to three phase system that is known as a condo system and single phase ac to dc system single phase ac to dc system is a very popular in india we use most of the track electrification we start with a condo system single phase high voltage as high as almost 25 kv with normal frequency is used to distribute the power converter in the locomotive convert single phase 
to three phase AC supply. Three phase power is then fed to the three phase induction motor. Three phase induction motor is a simple and robust in construction. At the same time, it has certain disadvantage also like a low starting torque and high starting current. But now by using uh, electronics converters, certain disadvantages can be overcome. Let us see the general arrangement with the help of block diagram. We get power from the national grid. We have traction substation and we feed power through the overhead cable at very high voltage and normal frequency to the locomotive and locomotive consists of three phase converter which convert single phase power to three phase power and then we use the three phase induction motor to get the required motive power. So overhead cable we use that is a single phase with 50 hertz 16 kV or sometime 25 kV. It has a certain advantage. Three phase overhead distribution network system. It is replaced by single wire and earth return system. Induction motor are cheap and robust. Maintenance is very less in case of three phase induction motor. Now we have another composite system and that is single phase AC to DC system. As we discussed earlier, the system single phase AC to DC system is very popular in India. Single phase AC 25 kV at normal frequency is fed to overhead distribution network. Locomotive carries transformer to step down AC voltage and rectifier to convert AC to DC power. It has a certain advantage. We use AC power for the overhead distribution cables and we use a DC traction motor in the locomotive. So advantage of AC system for a overhead cable and advantage of DC traction system at the locomotive, the advantage are combined. Overhead catenary system has a reduced diameter because we use as high as 25 kV voltage. So current requirement is very less. If we go for DC system for 1500 volt or 3000 volt then current requirement is very high but when we go for AC system 25 kV the current requirement reduced drastically. So the cross section area of the conductor is required is very less. So copper requirement drastically reduce overhead equipment becomes simple light economical and efficient because it has to carry a very low current another advantage that is saving in substation cost first we have seen advantage regarding catenary system now in second stage, we have advantage regarding saving in substation cost. Spacing between two substation is more because we are using very high AC voltage for the distribution overhead cabling. The voltage is very high, so spacing between substation is also more. So it reduces the cost of substation as well as the equipment required at the substation because number of substation reduce 
flexibility in selecting the site and the location. Because substation spacing is more, we have a flexibility to choose the site as per our requirement near to the availability of the grid voltage or low cost land can be obtained. Few operating personals are required. In case of AC traction substation, the handling of equipment is very simple and easy. So very few operating personals are required because it has no frequency converting type of substation or no AC to DC converting type of substation. So operation at the substation is very simple. Enlarged working capacity of the substation. In case of DC substation, because of very high current, we have certain limitation for the capacity of the substation. But in case of AC system, the current passing through the equipment, it is very less. So we can go for very high rating of the substation. Another advantage that is a high value on coefficient of adhesion. In case of AC rectifier locomotive employing DC traction motor, coefficient of adhesion is quite high. So it can carry a more weight compared to different track system. Thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.